Hey, my name is Nisha and welcome to my channel, Picks by Nisha. Today I'm going to show you how to use Google Lens in List Perfectly. So let's get started. So we're on the home page for List Perfectly. List Perfectly is a cross-listing service. So what that means is it allows me to take items that I sell and cross-list them to multiple platforms. So for me, I list on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari using uh, List Perfectly. So if you'd like to try it for yourself, there is a link below in the description that will give you 30% off your first month. All right, so let's get started. We're going to work on today how to use the Google Lens that's been incorporated into List Perfectly's listing process. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to log in on the upper right hand corner and then on the main menu here we will click add a listing center left and in the listing here I will click the plus sign. All right, I'm going to select my images. We'll open those up and then on the first one I'm going to hover and then click that center square and I'm just going to rotate this to the right. If you haven't seen this, I do have a video where I go over this process in detail so you can learn how to use List Perfectly's edit features. And we'll click Save on the top. I'm only rotating it just so that it will be found easier with the Google Lens. Now to use the Google Lens, we'll need to save this as a listing, an active listing, or as a draft. So we'll save this as a draft. Scroll down all the way to the bottom. Then you'll see the draft here on the bottom, and then there'll be a click button on the bottom right. And then click the Save and Exit to the catalog. All right, so we'll click on the draft button here on the upper right. And we see it here just on the, here on the left, you'll see the image. To edit this, we'll click on the pencil button, green pencil button. Now we'll hover again over the main image and click this icon in the upper right hand corner. That will open the Google Lens in a separate field. You'll see the image Google is searching for is contained within the square here. And it looks like it's picked up a couple similar pieces. So let's take a look. On the right, you can click on any of these thumbnails. So this one, the first one looks great. So let's click on that one. So how I use Google lens is for finding keywords to create my listings and then I also can use it to help me um, price my items. Alright great so this is the same manufacturer and it's a similar image so I will show you the one that we are working on in person. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this and I'll use some of these as a keyword. Okay, great. Okay, so let's go back into Google Lens. Now it gave me some other options. Some of them aren't related. Uh, the second thumbnail is related, so we could take a look at that. Uh, it's made with um, Mount St. Helens ash, but I'm not getting any other keywords that would help me, so I'm going to close that window. The other thing you can do is on the Google Lens is you can extend the window here if it's cutting it uh, too sh short, the crop. But for what uh, the search is showing us, it doesn't uh, make a difference. 
sometimes you may want to focus it in on an area so you can make it smaller and then Google Lens will automatically uh, create new visual matches for you. Okay, great. So that's how I use Google Lens integration in List Perfectly. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this. And give us your thoughts if you'd like to see other videos or different topics in the comments below. Take care. Bye-bye.